We're live. Good afternoon, everybody. It is January 30th, the last day of the month, today and tomorrow. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Can't believe it. Missing Greg this morning. He'll be back hopefully Thursday. Miss him so much. We decorated the table today so that we are celebrating Valentine's Day from now until to the whole month of February. We have a big Valentine's Day show coming up. Lots of surprises. And I want to thank Susan for doing such a good job on the table. Susan, it looks beautiful. Thank you so much. And today is national, a national day. And guess what it is? Do you know? No. Do you I know? know? I know you're going to tell us. I don't yeah. Know. It is uh, National Bread Day. And we love bread on this show. Yeah. It's actually croissant day. So <gasps> everybody, you got to go home and eat a croissant today. I love croissants. With good, good, good butter and jelly and all kinds of marmalade on it. All the good stuff. And then we actually celebrate Valentine's Day from the 1st till the 28th this month. Because love is in the air. And uh, this year I have a Valentine, which is really nice. Ooh. I've had it for two both. years. Yes. Uh. And uh, <laughs> we're very excited. And we are going to the Westbury Manor for Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. which is a great place to go. Why didn't I get an invite? Well, you could go. You just have to make a reservation. The uh, breakfast. No, club. you didn't invite me with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and uh, Eddie says the singing at uh, Westbury Manor. They have three seatings, and it's a fabulous night. So, I see that you have a beau in the audience. Yes, His name is Nez. He's from Notorious Photos in Queens. And uh, he's going to do all kinds of great pictures today because wow. he's the master of photography and videos. That's awesome. Yeah. So I want to introduce Geneva Jones. She is everything, everything on Long Island. She does <laughs> training. She does CPR. She does community work. And she is now a full-fledged model in what, three years time? Uh, four years. Four years since we met four her years. and she joined the club. Wow. So I've known Tina Valentina, which we I call her my crazy lady. Um known her forever um she we're actually like family mm -hmm. uh and if anybody who really knows tina knows that tina does not take no for an answer however i i'm allowed to tell her no because she knows i don't i don't play that she's very her. tough i tell mm -hmm. her no um but tina does not take no for an answer and it happens to be that you know as always you know i help her out community service you know we do different things and she had her book launch um yep. and when she had her book launch uh i was there there was you know of course the room was filled great people and um just happened to be at the in the right place right time um chris i know i always jack up chris's last name what's his last name uh, salute 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 he's a real chris Italian. Saluti. um I can't even say how i thank him enough because honestly if it wasn't for him seeing so much potential in me I probably wouldn't be here today um, as a model and actress. Um, so I give him and Tina um, all the glory because because of them, is, they're the reasons why I continued and I pushed myself to getting into modeling. And now I just have a great team of um, supporters and loved ones who um, they've been with me through this journey. And wow. Chris is from Bold Magazine. Yes. It's a full a full figured magazine, but you also work with others now, right? Yes. Fashion yes. trends. And yes. What kinds of great So things? I've had some magazine covers, um, also in some a couple of magazines. So yes, I am officially a published model. Wow. Um, and let me let me correct the term, uh, published plus size model. That's I right. Am a plus size model. And um, proud of it. Absolutely. Um, for me, you know, it's it's I always tell people modeling is not just about you know being cute, being pretty. Um, it's so much more involved because. You know, if I want to be cute, I can do that in the comfort of my own home. Mm -hmm. But for me, um, it, it's a lot. Uh, it took me a lot to get to this space in my life. Um, building confidence, having that confidence, gaining the confidence um, to feel as beautiful that I, as I feel now inside and out. Um, you know, coming from domestic violence, coming from, you know, abuse, um, you know, things in my childhood. So it, it's been a really long journey long but look journey. at you I, I when i first met her she was out in front of my house shoveling snow <laughs> all bundled up 
Never had a stitch of makeup on when she come over to no, help me. Oh, of course not. Yes, and you're just amazing. No makeup today. No makeup. Everybody in the club Blowing. is very proud of you. They've been following you for I'm a long glad. time. Yes, uh, and my Breakfast Club family. Um, been part of the Breakfast Club now for four years, and it's amazing. Um, the team has always been completely supportive. They all follow me, social media, um, you know, different events. Um, so it, it's it's good to have that family. We like helping people, but we also like the, to see the, the growth. growth. Mm -hmm. And she's amazing and can't say enough about it. But before we continue, we have a wonderful lady here. And her name is Nicole Navarro. She's from True Encounter. Mm -hmm. She just graduated from... A class at uh, True Encounter, right? No, Bethel School Supernatural. Bethel School mm -hmm. Supernatural, which kind of makes me feel that it's like a little ooh. You know? <laughs> Supernatural and uh, ministry. Supernatural Ministry. Is that like a, a second thing where you can predict things or no? That's just... No, it's so... Uh, hi, everyone. I'm so honored and privileged to be here today with you guys. And it's a Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. It's a school where you, uh, just to make preface, I'm a believer, I'm a Christian, so I believe in Jesus, I believe in the Holy Spirit, I believe in God, um, and I love him so much. Like Every decision that I make, I was just telling them before um, we started, every decision that I make, um, every move that I do in this life is all for him and for the glory of his name. And the school that I attended was to basically just build up who I am in him. Um, you know, learn, learn new things about myself. Uh, I've actually um, experienced a lot of healing, I would say, from certain traumas or triggers that I didn't even know existed until I actually went through the school and went through the process of um being getting able it out there. getting it out. Um, it also ha has edified my heart just to be empowered as a young woman um, to follow the Lord and to know that, um, you know, he placed me on this earth, not to just um, to, to like, there's so much more in life, you know, than just the things that we see um, and, and the things that maybe we go through and stuff like that. And so I would just say um, the school uh, centers around your identity and centers around um, knowing who you are in Christ and the power of knowing who you are in Christ and how to walk from that that space. Okay, so we're mm -hmm. going to get into that a little bit, but yeah. Geneva only has, I don't know how long she's going to stay. <laughs> she sure. might stay for the whole show. Uh -huh. but, she kidnapped uh, me. Yeah, I kidnapped With her. approval. <laughs> from her great job, which is, let's talk about that, QS2 um, so training. I work for QS2 training and consultant. Um, I don't really know if I can even call it work. It's more like my family space. Wow. Um, I have been with QS2 for, if I'm correct, I believe we're going on to 15 or 16 years now. Um, but I have known Miss Liz Box and Stephanie Dockwaller my whole 19 year career in early childhood and education. Um, so I've known them pretty much my whole entire career. Um, and we do everything from first aid CPR, health and safety. Um, first aid and CPR being on different levels. Um, my specialty areas are actually classroom environments. So people literally will hire me to come in to set up their programs, um, mm -hmm. you know, classrooms according to the proper zoning and things like that. Um, I also, I'm also our IT and tech person. Yeah, she um, is. So she I wear the- <laughs> Fixes my computer all the time. <laughs> I wear the hats um, of many, but um, yeah, QS2 is definitely like my home away from home. Wow. Um, so and so is team, Long Island Breakfast Club. My team is amazing. Mm -hmm. We call her for every little thing. Yes, they She do. helps us a lot. I'm I'm big with um, helping people. So that's, for me, that's a, you know, you know, it's a learning process and in order for someone to learn, you have to be taught. Yeah, so, I 100% agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's very technically uh, excellent at tech. Yeah. tech, 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 tech. Tina just uses um, an excuse for me to come change her ink so that I can come over to her house. That's it. <laughs> so what she's doing now, I call it growing in grace. Oh. See that? I got this at a very special lady for Christmas, and she's actually watching right now. Jenny, I do use this, okay? So Geneva is growing in grace. Yeah. And um, we're very proud of you. 
We're Thank very, you. very proud Thank of you. you. So let's say, um, you know, with the CPR first, um, how many people do you think one out of 10, how many out of 10 know how to do CPR? Because yeah. I know I've done meetings because I worked with them in the beginning. <sighs> I and feel like that number is, um, it, c- it could really go up and down. I do really think that because times are changed, um, a lot of people now more, they want to learn, they yeah. want to know, especially whether they have, you know, loved ones that have medical conditions, children that have medical conditions. And, you know, I know now in the city, they're actually offering it for free oh, wow. um, for people. And if I'm correct, don't quote me on it. I'm not sure if the bill was passed, but I think even they're going to make it mandatory um, for children to have that in school before they can even graduate, which again That's would, be, very good. would be a great thing. But don't quote me on that. Just but yet. the daycares <laughs> have to be trained. Um, yes. the so, yeah. um, early childhood programs, that's actually a state requirement um, so that they actually have it and it's good for every two years. Um, it also does depend on the level um, that you take because there are different levels. So mm-hmm. you may have pediatric, you have wilderness, you have BLS. There's more than just one level. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So now um, you work with Liz Box. Yes. Liz Box is my sister. I hope um, she's watching. Yes. And we call her, you know. <laughs> How'd she like, get that nickname, Liz Box? Her name is That's Box. That's her name. That's her, her name. name. Yes. Her That's name her last name. Elizabeth Box, but we call Elizabeth her Liz Box, Box Lizzie Liz Box. Box. <laughs> Liz. That's, she's that's a great cool. lady and this organization that she's part you know part of is amazing because they teach everybody how to do cpr and they do it either in and not, your home. not just not just cpr but we actually um yeah. teach a lot of um different topics everything that pretty much pertains to early childhood that mm. a lot of programs um would need or schools would need um, and I want to say, you know, most of our clientele, um, again, they're they're like family. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. yes, it's a business for us, um, but the bonds and the relationships that we actually build, whether it's with our students, our clients, participants, um, it, it's it's amazing. Well, that's what yeah. you know keeps us afloat because you know that's the type of relationship that we build. Yeah, with. and their offices mm-hmm. are in Baldwin, right by the library, yeah, right? So we oh, are. Okay. Um, QS two is located at two two seven. 70 Grand Ave, Baldwin. Um, you can't miss us. You come right into the parking lot. There's two sets of doors with a single door, um, and there's a sign right there. Um, or you can follow us on all social media platforms. Um, QS2 Training and Consultant. Uh, we do have an Instagram and Facebook. That's right. And uh, we're there a lot. And people can get the training either there in their homes. They can invite some people over. Everyone mm-hmm. pays the fee at a hotel, whatever, businesses, personal people, um, a lot of mothers that have babies now, there's a no. different kind of training for an infant, right? Mm-hmm. No. So why don't you talk about that? Um, well, so infant CPR, so we actually um, teach, when we teach the CPR, we actually teach all three levels. So we don't actually just stay on infant. Oh, I thought you did it a different We actually oh. teach the infant, child, and adult because you never really know when you're going to need it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it really doesn't make sense just to teach the one. But so oh, when okay. we teach it, we actually teach it to cater all three, infant, child, and adult. And what about the hazmat training and all that other stuff that they um, do? All that good stuff. So again, if you need any of those trainings, you can definitely give us a call. Um like the construction companies, all those Phone number types of things. 516-205-1947. Um, that's Miss Liz Box. That's our office number. You can give us a call with any questions you may have in regards to any type of training that you may be looking for. Um, we do customize some training. So if you yes. are a school or program looking for um, training hours, um, whether it's um, trauma-informed care, health and safety, um, you can give us a call. Yes, and what's the website for QS? Um, QS2training.com. Um, the second one, I believe, is Save a Life with QS2. Right, I, mm. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Save a Life with QS2. There's a lot of Save a Lives out there, mm. but that's what's important because it grabs the idea. Like, you could be saving a life in a lot of different ways, correct? Mm. Absolutely. And a lot of different programs. And they started this from scratch. How many years? That I don't know. It's I believe this year six will be going on sixteen years. Sixteen. Yeah. That's but amazing. they they've been in the business longer than sixteen years. Wow. Yes, and uh, my sister Liz, she got fired. Let let go too. Fired. Like wow. other people that join the Breakfast Club, they join when they lose their job or retire or need a change. 
and then we help them make changes and things like that. Wow. And um, she's the best thing she ever did was lose her job. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yes, it hurts when it happens, mm -hmm. but it forces mm -hmm. you to do all kinds of things. Bigger and greater things, and that's yes. what she's doing. Yeah. So what do you think of our new look? I'm loving it. It's definitely different. Yes. <laughs> we could have added more purple on the walls, but it's okay. You know, I'll talk to Greg. Greg, if you're watching, let's add some purple somewhere. Maybe, you know, on the pillars. I'm okay with that. Maybe my face with the purple. <laughs> well, I'm sure he would, uh, he would entertain that. And um, they're doing a lot of things uh, coming up every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's something going on here. Wow. And there's music. There's fun, there's bingo, all kinds of different things. They have um, just wild things, a lot of dancing and beautiful dance floor. Wow. And um, it's a minimal cost to get in, and there's great food, and it's changed a lot. So they're, you know, bouncing it up, different things. They have Latin now, Spanish, all different nights. And you dress accordingly, and people have a blast. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, so it's pretty it's pretty neat, isn't it? Pretty neat. So this is beautiful. I love the outfit. Thank you. So of course, because you know I'm also an influencer working with a couple of brands as well. Yeah, what are the names um, of the brands you're working with? So I'm currently working with Good American, um, wow. which is Chloe Kardashian's um company. Um, so oh I have to tell you, if you um are not used to wearing jeans or you don't like wearing jeans oh, i don't i tell you <laughs> you will fall in love with wearing their jeans get um, out yes because i have a pair that is a size 14 to 18 that's actually how there's their size they're and their size to fit your body really um so it's like me all three of us can share the one pair of jeans and it's gonna fit to us and it's they're amazing get out of here i wow. will not fit into those jeans. Yeah. <laughs> i'm telling you you will check out my check out my instagram yeah how <laughs> yes. much are they about 150 a pair <laughs> they they are like but it's, de it's, it's definitely they they're pricey um so to speak but they're it's worth it well i've heard i've heard their the quality the quality is, yes, really the quality good, yeah. is absolutely um amazing yeah. they feel amazing, amazing yeah. um the stretched they just like I can't even explain it. Like if I could just make the one pair of jeans a whole bodysuit, I would exactly. absolutely do that. Well, <laughs> you, anyone can tell you that Valentina does not wear jeans. You will wear these jeans, and because I don't feel comfortable in them, and I always feel like you Christmas know, present. Yeah, you, you would you would definitely feel um, comfortable. Wow, in these that's interesting. Jeans. I'm also um, the ambassador for shaper mate um so it's a shapewear brand they have different shapewears leggings um mm. sports attire active wear that's very comfortable um and then i'm also parfait which is a lingerie and bra company and well, those have, are a little uh floozy. I, I have to tell you uh <laughs> if you are looking for a bra to be comfortable um they're comfortable every Every bra is absolutely comfortable. They're wow. really supportive. That's another thing I have trouble with. <laughs> uh, well, and their their sizes um, are not your typical sizes. Okay. Um, so you could always purchase if it's not your size, return and get. They do have like a measurement chart where you can actually go on so that that way you're getting your size. Because you may buy another brand like Victoria's Secrets or something like that um, and have one size, but for them, you may actually need another size because mm. that the quality is just absolutely amazing. Um, so that has definitely been a, jer um, a journey. I'm, so far, I'm absolutely It's unbelievable that. how much you've done in the last five years. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm just so, yeah, so proud it, of you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a So now a the big news of today is what? Yes, so I am um, the delegate. I am actually running for Miss New York full figure delegate of 2023. Woo! So, I'm super excited about that. So make sure you're following me on all social media platforms at curvy.am.i. Um, there will be some voting for some selections, and of course, I'll you know have that on all my social medias. Um, we are also going to have our actual pageant day. I believe is May 13th. Okay, well um, that we're coming to for sure. And that will be at Occasion Banquet Hall, which will be located on Merritt Boulevard in Queens. So definitely looking for everyone's support. Um, you can reach me 
to purchase your tickets um, in advance. I believe there are general admission of tickets, which are 60 or $65. And then there's also some VIP tickets. So of course my family, you guys are watching. Um, I am going to make sure that you guys are purchasing all these VIP well, tickets. Well, we are VIPs, <laughs> we're media. So, yes. you know, we'll cover <laughs> it. Press. We'll, we will cover it for you. Yes, so. yes. And I know Susan will be there. Yes. Maybe Jenny and maybe Greg. You never know. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm hoping to see my whole Breakfast Club family there. Yes. Well, yeah. The Breakfast Club. We'll put that on Facebook. So now tell me about these glasses, these yes. funky glasses. Uh, Look, can I try them on? I, I you said? Can I try so, them on, please? Mm, no. uh, I'll share for a second. <laughs> I'll share for a second. <laughs> So Ooh, these, these. Are, these are beautiful. They are custom. Whoa. Um, and they are wow. from Miss Claudia Washington from Funkin' Crystals. Um, please check her out on all social media platforms. Um, I'll also drop a link in my bio so that you have quicker access. Just make sure you're following curvy.mi. Um, and they're all custom. So you're never going to see someone else with the same exact pair. Wow. These, they're crystals and she <laughs> will customize. So They're either, beautiful. I don't know what I look like, but you know, how do they look? Gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, amazing. They just um, different. I need them a little smaller, I think. She, again, no, little, I like that slide. These are you a could, little you too much. You could contact her. Oh, um, it could be glasses that you purchase and you get, take them to like her. Or you can go to her website. I a lot of black and, black. Um, and again, they're all custom. So you're okay. never going to see the same anyone pair. else, the same pair over and over. So, oh, yeah, I like that's that. awesome. Um, different, they come in different colors. Again, the, the style is you know completely up to you. So if I were to give her these. If you were to give her your glasses, tell her what you be were looking for. for like <laughs> what, what you wanted absolutely she will customize wow. us okay so yes please make sure that you reach out to um miss claudia washington from funkin crystals we have some people watching nicole susan hello nicole, jenny susan. jenny couldn't come today so she's watching phil verso how are you phil have you met this wonderful these two wonderful girls we have here today phil handles all the music for this hall oh. and he's from cherry productions cool. great guy Kathy Bertolino is watching. She's the lady that I get all that fancy long jewelry from. Okay. So Kathy. Oh, thank watching. you, Kathy, because you know at times I go jack all she of her stuff. She shops have in shows. my <laughs> bedroom for her jewelry sometimes. <laughs> yes, yes, she does. When, when I need nice fancy pieces, I always know I can go right to Tina's <sighs> house and you know just go right in the room. And, and of course, Patrick is watching. Hi, Patrick. Patrick is he, everybody loves Patrick, including me. He's a doll. Hmm. And um, we're getting ready for Valentine's Day, as I said. You and your beau are, are welcome to come. Okay. It's uh, you pay on the menu, but there's great dancing. Yes, my one of my Westbury Manor, my biggest supporters, my biggest fan, um, Nez, aka Mister Notorious Photos. Um, I have to say, um, he's another one, just absolutely amazing. Um, the things that we create. Uh, when I stress him out with needing content, photos, um, yes. He's very, very talented. So I don't, so I know you might be looking at my page and you're like, oh, this girl is amazing. I don't do it all by myself. Um, um, and I do she gives the credit team. where credit's due, which yes, is good. Yes, absolutely. I, I, I couldn't do half of it um, without him. Mm -hmm. I'm literally stressing every two seconds when I have to submit something for a brand or, you know, I, I have a thought in my head and I want to get it out really quickly. Um, just did a quick photo shoot yesterday. Um, What'd you do? Um, so I'm actually uh, some urban wear. So you I had a couple a of different. Hat? No, no hat. <laughs> no, no hat. <laughs> Maybe that, that'll, that'll be next. Because they have um, those big round. That'll be, you know, that'll be next. I'll do hats, hats. Some, some fancy hats just for Tina. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, you know, like I said, my, my team is absolutely uh, um, amazing. I, I can't complain and I couldn't do what I do without them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so my team would consist of Rick Palmer, um, Claudia Washington, Mr. Ronald Harris his, himself, uh, TJ. I love that name. Terrell. His name, he has a real name. Terrell. We don't have, <laughs> have nicknames. We have nicknames. We don't have nicknames. Don't have nicknames. <laughs> so it's kind of like when I'm saying it, I'm like, wait, who, what's his real name? Does he have a real name? Um, and again, most of all of us, we're either, you know, models, models, and actors, um, or, you know, we've been in this 
industry for you know quite a number of years now so wow. i can actually put myself in that category and say now a couple yeah of years now you have wow. which is amazing awesome. yeah. we watched you and, grow and, every freaking month and for me the plus size community of course um Great anyone people. who really knows me i'm always gonna push and fight for my plus size community because the same way everyone else needs to be recognized we need to be recognized Absolutely. as well um and you know a lot of people i know somebody might hate me but it's okay but I feel like we are gonna take over well, um, this industry. We well, size, you're doing well. It's we're, definitely we're gonna true. take it over. We are. And look, hey, I I do modeling, but only do modeling of nails, <laughs> face, and toes. That's it. I don't do the running and the walking and all. I can't do it. <laughs> yes. I know my limitations. I do what I want when I want with you know. Yes, that's what I do. runway. I actually have a, a no course, runways for Valentina. Week. New York Fashion Week is actually. <laughs> starting uh some shows actually start next week um so i have a number of shows currently lined up um one of my big shows that i will be in will be february 15th which is for daniel leathers i believe the sponsor is daniel wow. dash um wow. i will be there full day that show so make sure you check out their website yeah. um for tickets or any other information um we also have infinite exposure their fashion show will be february 11th um also february 12th uh, i'll be running a walkway for the dream um and i know they're really big so yeah and i can't name them all but well i, you, I have a couple coming. you don't sleep at all anymore that's for uh, sure you know me i, I could did. call geneva at three in the morning four in the morning <laughs> doesn't matter you don't have to worry about what time you call yeah if she'll if, be up well she'll answer you eventually mm. but i usually have to put in three to four calls to get an answer because <laughs> she's so busy now yeah. that's what it is doing good things yes. modeling and acting it's it's definitely it's, of course i'm still a full-time mom have a full-time job so how many kids yes. you have? don't me? ask so i have three children that i birthed okay um but i raised a total of seven um, seven, I'm gonna say seven and a half because I have a baby in Virginia. Um, I'll Nisa. Um, and I have currently right now eight grandbabies, and I have yeah, two that were good. just born, so one month and two months. Yeah. Wow, she's amazing. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. like literally, yeah, we're like, I, I always want to be like the Brady, the Brady Bunch, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, amazing. I can't even say the Brady Bunch, we're like a whole football team. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're gonna become part of the prom boutique. Yes. And you're going to volunteer, and yes. I guess you are too. We're going to talk about that. Yeah, we can talk about that. We're yes. going to be arranging working with the Long Island Volunteer Center for two months, and we need uh, beautiful gowns that maybe your daughters in the closet don't wear a lot, mm -hmm. shoes and jewelry. Yeah. And it's going to be posted in another two days. Mm -hmm. It'll be in our newsletter, and um, we're going to have you do the running. Okay, yeah. Because I can't do the running, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to also see, I'm going to reach out to, um, you know, my delegate sisters as well to see. They probably have some get clothes. get the team yeah. to, you know, volunteer um, mm -hmm. and to do some things as well. Because of course, we, you know, especially as women, we know prom time is one of those times where you want to be cute and dolled up and um, economically, everybody just doesn't have it like that still yeah. and it's a great program um, it really and of is. course custom prom dresses you know they they do start to be pricey yeah. <laughs> they're so but expensive you want what you it's want. ridiculous they really are yeah so um so now let's talk about you nicole what's uh, now let's talk about one thing where did i meet you guys with a team of 23 uh, yeah. people oh yeah i met you where so it was it was insane but we <laughs> met at the for those of you who are local in valley stream the valbrook diner the valbrook diner i'm gonna of say all, it had to be somewhere where there was food yes <laughs> yes of all places which was like i i don't think like we just started the tradition which was the other thing too that I, um i forgot to mention to you in person when i met you was uh we decided that after every worship night which we do a worship night at the end of the month uh called crave night for young adults and That's now great. it's just opening up to, to to um anyone who just wants to come and uh worship jesus or worship god like it doesn't matter what ministry you're a part of it doesn't matter your religion your, right? your, your religion or your background like what That's we want nice is just, we want to bring people in so that they can um, have an encounter with, with, with Jesus, with, with the Lord. Uh, what was crazy was the, um, we went to Valbrook and we come in and we came in like, as if 
you know, they came a whole in bunch like of, a truckload. Yeah, yeah, like a whole truckload walking all the way to the back, and they and they sit next to they me. Sat in that, we sat next to to Valentina, and uh, as I I look over and she's 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 you know star- looking at us like oh my gosh because like, first of all they were all beautifully dressed yes we were very we were. respectful yeah happy uh huh and, and that was like I just look at in this day and age mm-hmm. you see twenty three kids I mean I know you're not kids yeah. but I call you kids so happy and nice and respectful yeah I was just blown away yeah and so she starts uh, a cop. I don't know if you started the conversation yeah, of with course me or I someone. Did. Yeah, <laughs> she she started the conversation <laughs> with me, uh, and I was kind of you know taking taking back like okay. So um, she she started asking me what is it that we do. I told her that our church is literally five minutes away from uh, the Valbrook Diner. It's called Jesus Christ is the Hope of the Family on Thirty Four Locust Street, Valley Stream, New York, and we. I just begin to tell her, this is what we do. I'm actually the young adult leader of True Encounter. And, uh, you know, my passion in life is is Jesus and anything that has to do with Jesus. And um, we all just came back from this worship night. And uh, she then asked me the question of, you know, is there, do, do you feel like you've reached your community? And I tell her, uh, I do do but i feel like there's so much more that we can do and we actually have goals as a ministry to want to be able to reach out more and connect more with people Mm -hmm. um and and you know make ourselves known and 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 show the community that we're here for you we want to support you we want to help you whether if it's a food drive if it's um giving away i believe last year in january uh we actually collected money uh i don't know if it was about a thousand it was uh around a thousand dollars and in those thousand dollars we were able to bless eight to ten different families which is beautiful we did grocery services uh me my my friend monique my other friend crystal we went and took care of uh two twins and a no not two twins twins and uh uh and another daughter for free for an entire day uh, there was also a student that we were able to give him a free laptop and now he's just able to enjoy his college career without thinking in his head, oh my God, I don't have a laptop. I don't have the access for they do of, of the work. needs that I have. And that's you know? going to take you all the way to the rest of your life. Yeah. That'll take you to a career. Yep. It'll take you to you yeah. know, all kinds of, when you so, volunteer, you meet yeah. great people. And so we just, uh, the whole idea and premises behind us wanting to give is that we want to primarily give people hope again you know especially this needed yes and especially this day and age where there's so much destruction there's so many um things happening uh or you know in in personal lives even what you were saying like to see such a, a quantity of of young people actually joyful and happy right now with with the hope and expectation of I want to be able to enjoy this life. We want to be able to give that to people and give them that opportunity. And so uh, you asked me that question and then she's like, well, you're, you know, I do a talk show and I would love to have you on. And I was just like, wow, I literally, we've literally (laughs) prayed about how are we going to do this? God, how are we going to spread? How are we going to spread our, um, our, sentence or, our, or meaning and all yeah that. how are mm-hmm. we gonna let people know that you know there's people here that maybe if they felt alone if they felt abandoned if they felt frustrated that they have mm-hmm. someone who who sees them you know so we have a message here from francis francis louise she's saying great work geneva congratulations thank you kawani's club of malvern is watching Latanya Sims, is that your friend? Yes, that's actually my god sister. Thanks. Sis. Thank you. Appreciate so the she's love watching. And, support. and what'll happen is later we'll share it and there'll be a lot more people. It's um it depends on, you know, sometimes people have a hard time finding us. Why? I don't know. We put directions up on them, but nobody ever finds us. <laughs> just like just later. like how I ended up in Rockville Center instead yes, of Yes, where did you Hempstead. go to Rockville Center? I went to Rock I typed in the address for here and it took me to Rockville Center and I I pulled all the way I, I pulled up all the way into a driveway of a house, and then I look at the text message, and Valentina's like, "Come into the parking lot." I was like, "This is not a parking lot. Oh, I'm totally in the funny. wrong place." Yeah. A lot of people get lost. There's one in Hempstead. Mm-hmm. There's I didn't know there was one in Rockville Center. 
So I'm sure there's one everywhere, or 157. So you need to play that number today if you play numbers, daily number. 157, <laughs> it might be lucky for you. Oh, that, I believe uh -huh. in that. I believe in the karma. Because mm. the karma, the way we met, and I was just so impressed with everybody. And you guys ate so much that night. Yeah, you, your I had bill a lot had to of be pancakes. like $400 with all those kids. Well, we all paid our individual checks because, <laughs> let me say, I was like, I'm going to pay for my pancakes and for my food, and y'all can pay for your own. But there's a new diner called the Valbrook. They just redid it. It is great. And it's, what is it, on Sunrise Highway? We no, go East, a lot. East Merrick Road. Yeah, we go a lot, Patrick and I. And they make, everything is delicious, clean, yeah, very, very nice. The, the uh, waiters there are super kind, very, super sweet. Very, very nice, yes. Um, and actually, the the... Valbrook Diner has a deeper meaning, at least for our ministry. Oh, really? Why is that? So our head pastor, um, he, about in 2021, in June, he actually passed. He oh, passed away. Sorry to hear that. And his tradition was that he would go to the Valbrook Diner, read his newspaper every morning, have his cup of coffee, talk to somebody about Jesus. That was just his, like, <laughs> one, two, three. That was his thing. mission. That was his thing. And anytime his, him and his wife, which is um, our uh, prophet Yvette, which I love you so much if you're watching, um, and uh, her son and her daughter-in-law, uh, pastors Ken and Laura Rudiaz, uh, they had the tradition where they would go and eat there. So that place just has a lot of meaning. Meaning, meaning. sure, for everybody. And yes. so the fact that I was like, it's super close to our church. It's in our community, which is number one. We want to be able to uh, impact them, you know? And so it's just, it's, I know that there's something special about that place. And um, every single time that we've gone there, there has, there's always a story that comes out. The last time we went there, we were able to pray and, uh, encourage the waiter that was with us and he began to cry and say I I needed this you know I, I needed to to it was it was uh it was amazing to be able to, to help him. to help well he, was he said it was it was amazing to serve you guys but Aww. thank you for being able to serve me well you guys have that glow when mm -hmm. you come in like you know yeah it's just like you know in walked all these beautiful kids and they all had such a good attitude and I wasn't letting that go now, yeah. who's Crystal Rendon? Is that your friend? Crystal? No, that's my friend, Crystal. She's watching. Yeah. Thank you, Crystal, for watching. That's great. And uh, uh, Phil just told me to let everybody know uh, the set looks great. Susan, he loves the set. And there's going to be a, a pre-Valentine party. Uh, me and Power 78.7 play the dating game. And that's going to be a G's. If you have questions, you can call us and we'll get you the information. So it's Saturday, pre-Valentine party, this Saturday night here. Mm. And I'm sure it's going to be hopping. That's for sure. Angela. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Angela. So, and Angela's watching too. Thank you, Angela. Great. So um, this is really, really uh, great that, you know, you're getting to talk. Now, I was telling you that you could do this. Oh, yeah. 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 Just to see how easy it is. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. She's I just like, got, I can't so, do this. So, um, I'm like, can't she, Tina can't? has a way. Uh, I have to say she's uh, she's like her sister, not like her sister. Just no, some, we're not alike. Just in some aspects of um, they have this thing about them where they're they just know when they see people, they see things in them and they see great things in it. And I have to say nine times out of the ten. It seems like they're always right. Well, um, that's nice. Yeah. Not everybody uh, feels that way. But. Yeah, because we all know the team is just a little crazy. Um, I am, but you know, crazy. But once you get to know her, you, you see and you know that she does everything. Crazy with cells. Yeah. Yes. You, I mean, you have to remember that. <laughs> crazy cells. That's how you get popular. But if you needed help, you know, I could tell you what you need to do, what you need to buy. I mean, you need to buy a piece of equipment like this nice man that's mm. doing our show <laughs> has. And then with all the kids you have, they should know how to operate it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm For saying? Sure. So you could do this. It's mm -hmm. very simple. Yeah. All you need is Facebook, Instagram, your beautiful face, and your voice. <laughs> and it takes time. It doesn't yeah. happen overnight. It doesn't. Yeah. It it's, takes it, time. It's a progress. You know, along the, your journey, you may get discouraged. Um, you may hear some things you don't want to hear. Oh, they people will be jealous like, and say things. Mm -hmm. Yes. You may feel like, you know, you want to give up. Um, but you just have to know that whatever you're doing, it's a, it's a greater purpose, not just for you, but sometimes for others. Because I have to say, for me, a lot of people, you know, older and younger, 
you know, look up to me and respect the fact that what I'm doing, Absolutely. it gives them more confidence. Yeah. It makes them feel good about their self. Yes. Um, so for me, that that's that means I'm already winning. And if Latanya, I, and I I even, Latanya yeah. Sims is saying amazing women, amazing wow. women. Isn't I was, that nice? Yeah. I was just to, to piggyback off of what you were saying. Um, I actually, I think last week when we were in our Bible study, I was telling the group of uh, people who are, we do like Bible study on Zoom, which by the way, we are actually having a Zoom Bible study tonight at 8 p.m. If I could give you the code, I would. I don't have the code on me right now. But if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram, then you'll find out. You'll find it, yeah. Uh, but we, um, last week, I, I, I was just expressing to them that, you know, um, our purpose here and the reason why, um, you know, we we do what we do, it's not just for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like it's for our, everybody. It's like my my purpose or or the reason why me being here is not just so that I can fulfill something that is for me, <clears throat> but it's to number one, of course, let the name of Jesus be known. But two, it's like my life is not about is not my own. Like my life is to be able to um, to help other people, and and I would even say what you were saying about the uh, to put a word for it. Like you you have vision and see. Yeah, I do. Right. Like you have vision and you see the things that others other people don't see in themselves. That's and I think true. That and that's, you don't do yeah, that to yourself. Yeah. No, you, know, you and, don't feel that way about and yourself. And so I, you know, one thing that um, I would say is like that that's impactful and it empowers people is that when you're able to tell them like, hey, like I actually see you as 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 a leader or I see you as someone who um, can can actually cultivate a functional family um, and not continue the cycle of dysfunction that maybe you grew up in. Like you can actually um, come out of, of, of this, this trauma or this place of, of, of hurt or pain and not in your own strength or, or, or alone, but by the help of the Holy spirit and, and the help of, of your, in your relationship with God, as you continue to grow with him, like he will be able to guide you into a place where you're finally like, okay, Lord, like how can, you know, what are the things that you place me here to do? Like, what is it that you, um, that, that you want me to do? What, uh podcasts right what business what um it's all connected who, what people do you want me mm -hmm. to to um to share your love about and so mm -hmm. i just think i think yeah that's definitely um what you were saying yes, like, what are you, yeah, your I, vision. I think you know childhood trauma is one of those things that you know some people just kind of like throw around um <laughs> you know mental illness is something people kind of just throw around but the reality of it is, is everyone's been through something. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just where you stay. If you choose to stay in that space yeah. in your life uh, and dwell on it, good. or if right. you choose to better yourself and grow from it, because you yeah. may have experienced those things, um, but you don't want to have to experience those things for the rest of your life. You wanna, exactly. You know, you want to know and feel that, yes, your life does have a purpose. And even if you feel like it doesn't have a purpose for you, you don't know it may have a purpose for someone, for someone else. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm sure people are watching and thinking, you know, gee, what you're doing is just amazing because mm -hmm. you're young. Yeah. You and know? it's 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 crazy about what you say about um, childhood trauma and and um, and all those things because I'm actually beginning this month for February. I'm doing a series called Walking in Wholeness, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel like a lot of times, um, you know, we only focus on one area of our lives. Where if you were to see like a pie chart, it's there's spiritual, there's emotional, there's mental, and there's physical health involved. It's right. not just, oh, you know, you oh, I'm just going to gonna focus on this one area. But it's balance. all, it all uh, works together. And it's important how to know how to take care of your mental health, yep. how to know how to walk in, in emotional um, wholeness and not allow yourself be just swayed by like, this is what I feel. This is what, well, you know, out of impulse or, 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 um, anything like that, but actually being able to 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 walk in a steady and a balanced. Well, Linda Torello Datolo was watching. Mm -hmm. She's saying great job. And then somebody sent in a note saying, "Here's something. I am who I am. I will not be deterred or discouraged. Right. I am all things powerful and fearless." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's a pretty nice thing to send in. Very nice, very nice. You got a lot of people, uh, you know, 
thinking about what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. See me, I like to build up people. So I say build up each other, mm -hmm. help each other. Yeah. Feel it in your heart and pass it on to somebody else. Yeah. Because maybe that person needs it. You I, know? I, and I think for me, that's why I'm modeling. Um, it's not <laughs> just about, you know, being on a magazine or, you know, walking a runway. Um, it's so much more than that because a lot of people don't have confidence. I have people who are on my, you know, my social media platforms and they'll they'll leave a message like, oh, you know, you look beautiful in that. I can never wear that. I, I don't have the courage to um, to wear that or I don't think I'll look good in that. And, you know, I give them that like, you know what, just try it. Do something different. Outside well, I the say box. that every week. You know, step in front of your mirror, put it on. Even if you decide you don't want to go outside and it, just know that you put it on and you did it for you because it's going to make you feel good. No, yeah. it's very and, true. And, and a lot of people need that. They do. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then there's this thing, which we never talked about before, but, you know, love yourself. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't. And, you know, if you start thinking about some of the things you do, gee, that's pretty good. I did that, mm -hmm. you know. And then when you're crazy, which I get that sometimes <laughs> when I have the big thing going on, <laughs> calm your chaos. Yeah. Chaos creates mistakes. Chaos creates problems and makes everyone crazy. So you got to calm your chaos. And since I, 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 I have, have the I show. Have, I have a Nez and a, li and a Liz for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have, uh, since I have the show, we have a lot of people that talk about breathing. I never did any of this. Mm -hmm. But it does work if you yeah. try it. You know, so it's interesting how at 50, I, I changed my life. You know, mm. at 71, I'm now changing my life again. Wow. So I guess you guys all heard that the Fontanas is doing very good. Yeah. And we're going to I know having, why you're so proud of us. We're so proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. I still can't <laughs> believe that I'm going to be the main character in a in a sitcom, hopefully to get to TV. Wow. But uh, everybody needs to see us. Somebody just wrote in. We need to believe. Mm -hmm. We all need to believe. Thank you, Francis. Yeah. And um, she's another one who's changed her life. Just totally moved out, got out of here in a beautiful place, wow. having fun every day and breathing every day. So she looks very good. We're proud of her too. And uh, But she used to live right around here, but she needed a change. And she did it. And she didn't have much, but she did it. And she, she got there. So. Sometimes you have to change your your environment or your inner circle, so to speak. Um, because sometimes when you're, you know, you're around people for so long and you have to realize, you know, who, that balance in life. Right. Are, are, are we all on the same page? Are we all trying to go different or are we, you know, really just trying to settle? Mm, um, yes. Are we trying to stay st stagnant? Stagnant, mm -hmm. right. Don't, for me, it's one of those things I can't do. Staying stagnant, no, it, just, it doesn't work you. for me because you get bored after a while. I think like, I always tell people my attention span is like a two-year-old toddler. I can't do the same things over and over and mm -hmm. over for so long because I feel like I'm not growing. Like I'm not making any kind of progress. I have to change up something I'm doing or add something different to Well, that's true. But yeah. if you open your mind and open your world, like you're doing this now, mm -hmm. and then maybe you'll volunteer for someone and there's something else, you'll add that. It's a value add to yeah. what you're already doing. Yeah. That's what I've been doing. And now I got this value add of being at film festivals. Yeah. And now I'm always looking for people that are looking to be extras and things like that. And they love it now. Mm -hmm. And so then it just grows and grows and grows. Yeah. And that's how things happen. But there's a lot of times where, you know, people are... You know, they have an attitude. I don't. I can't deal with attitudes anymore. <laughs> right. So I came up with a new a new word. Instead of saying "what's your attitude?" like nasty, yeah. I'm like mend your mood, mend your mood. Ooh, that's <laughs> fix good. it. You know, just fix it. What's the big deal? Yeah. But again, it's not easy for everyone. Yeah. But there is ways to say things that sound a little better. Mm. Like someone is struggling, struggling, and you know, I can't stand it. I go, wait, wait for it. It will come. Things like that. Yeah. So I've, I'm into this new word thing lately, and I've been reading a lot, a, a lot about it. And there's a message in every moment. Yeah. But you have to listen. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you're not going to get it. It's like a, a, a scripture that I live by. It's in Romans 8.28. It's all things work out for the good mm -hmm. for those who love him and who have been called according to his purpose. Right. But so it, it's it just, can happen yeah. in anything. Ministry. Right. No, business. And, yeah. People. Sickness. Mm -hmm. Illness, marriage, mm -hmm. doesn't matter what it is. If you clean your mind, mm -hmm. everything is in the power of your mind. And my father used to tell us that every every day. You know, the power of the mind. When he was telling us, we didn't believe a thing he said. <laughs> we just didn't. But yeah. as you get older, you change a lot. Right. You know. 
So, uh, but it's it's a good experience. So, do you feel comfortable? Yeah. You think you could do this by yourself? Most likely. See? And you <laughs> said the other night, you said to me, no way. I'll never I'll do, never this. do this. I'm nah. going to do this. I mean, I, I, we had started um, a podcast and then it kind of died out. Died out be, just because I also. You have um, a lot to do. Yeah. And so, but I'm thinking about just picking it back up and, um, you know, letting people, you know, hear my story, hear testimonies. There's so many of the young adults that are in my church right now that Absolutely. each and every single one of them has something different and something amazing to bring to the table. I mean, if I know you're shouting out your team, I'm gonna shout out my team. Yes, of course. Uh, David, uh, Nico, Rafi, uh, Monique, Crystal. I'm forgetting somebody. I know I am. Amy. Crystal's dog, Dora. No. Yeah, there's everybody, <laughs> um, But right? everybody, everybody. And it's just amazing to see. And I'm so thankful to God for the people that he has surrounded me with. Because uh, as much as I'm the young adult leader, I couldn't do any of this without the, the, the team that I have. And um, I mean, we've we've gone to to trips to upstate um, to, to preach the gospel to an, another church filled with um, about 80 to 100 young people. Um, and, you know, they were, they were able to be impacted by just the, the simple message of that, you know, we love Jesus, we're passionate about him, and we want you to be able to, to have the, the experiences that we've had, you know, and mm -hmm. see him in, in, that, in that way. Well, it's yeah. nice to meet a young girl like you that is so into, you know, your, your future and the future help of others yeah because that's a big thing that's mm -hmm. very important today yeah so what's your favorite uh, decoration on the table they're all so cute i think mine is I like this well the, the, the light, light the yeah, lighted yeah, the light uh, circle cute. isn't that pretty mm -hmm. but susan has a uh i guess a basement full of all these things and every holiday she surprises us and decorates such a beautiful table so we, we love it so this will be up for the month yeah, which is I mean, nice until awesome. Easter, until the Easter Bunny comes. <laughs> but our our Great show, job, Susan. yeah, Great our job. show is yeah. going to be the Valentine show is going to be February thirteenth. We're okay. going to have audience, so you could come with your friends and watch it. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a, a beautiful couple on that have been married a long time. Wow! And we're also going to have some kind of a dating thing happening on that day too. Cool. And uh, we'll have some snacks, bagels, and coffee. I love bagels. And we have an audience for holidays. That's what we do because otherwise. It gets to be too much, you know. <laughs> they make a lot of noise when we have an audience. And we always have to shut them down because they're too noisy. <laughs> so, but this is for you to take a little remembrance of us. Oh, thank and you. tell everybody, watch, like, and share. Okay? And then we have another gal calling in. She's saying, Francis, do it and the power of positive love will follow you. Just do it. And that's a big thing with one of the sports companies. They say, just Nike. Nike, Nike yeah. just do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it. So Geneva has made so many of these bags in my house for the last <laughs> oh, few years. Oh, this is Geneva. She made this. Yes. Oh, and, um, cool. So she gets one to take take back. <laughs> Her kids uh, love all my goodies, especially your little one. Yeah, my Michaela, who's not She's so little, little anymore. She's got a little one. Well, she doesn't even look little anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They grow definitely. up real quick, real fast. Yeah. So what's your favorite dish at the diner? I tell you what I had the other day. Chicken rice soup. Delicious. Uh, I would say, I mean like basic the the waffles bacon and eggs yeah well the next time you go because i spoke to the gentleman that owns it uh tell him that we spoke about him okay and tell him it was a great show because he's thinking of uh, coming on oh yes okay. which would be That's great cool. for his business as yeah well. but a very nice man he was very very nice yeah story. they're super sweet had a nice they're chat awesome. with him so after i left mm -hmm. did everyone say who was that crazy lady no they were like <laughs> oh they, everyone was like, that's crazy. Like, uh, and, and since there was a mix of people who are part of like our church or not part, the ones who were part of our church were like, yo, we were literally talking about this. Like, this is amazing. Like, this is such a good opportunity. God's purpose. Purpose. Yeah. God's purpose. And, um, no, I think they were just like, that's honoring like that. And I shared with them what you told me, like seeing such a young, uh, so young people that are just so happy and joyful and, and, right. and happy. And so they were all impacted by that. They're like, it's good to hear that someone like someone outside of our group sees it. 
you oh, know? well, it's very visible. And so, yeah. And the girl that was sitting right next to you, she was such a beautiful girl. Oh, Liz, that's my other good friend. Oh, yeah. what a doll. She said she wanted to buy the book. Oh, yeah. her mom. Yes. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to show her the book. Could you hand me the book? It's on the yeah. end. These are two books, that small one and the big one. Okay. <laughs> Where it all started. This is this is uh, my first baby book. Aww. This is my best friend and me 20 oh, years ago when we helped this little girl who needed hyperbarics to survive. Wow. And this is the story about how we met. That's the baby book. That's the novella. And this is my big book. And that's, wow. it's got 67 women in From Fire to Freedom. Great book for anyone who needs a change, who needs to be lifted, who can say to themselves, look, I can do this. These 67 women did it. And now these 67 women in this book wrote their own book. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we do book, uh, we do book books, clubs? we do book clubs through Red Penguin Books. And we Stephanie. help people. Stephanie Larkin is our head penguin. It's Ooh. called Red Penguin Books. My pastor has a book out. It's called What's in Your Hand. Really? For those. Yeah. Okay. For anyone who wants to go buy it, purchase yes. it on Amazon. And yeah. um, she taught me a lot. And now I help her too. That's cool. With getting That's people awesome. who wants to write a book who needs help. Oh. And so we work all together. Um, we really do. Which is just unbelievable. So uh, another one saying, believe in yourself and everything will happen. Yeah, we got a lot of nice little notes here today. It's very, very good. So we got to remember, watch, like, and share. Go to G's. Go to Long Island Breakfast Club, make a friend, go to Long Island Breakfast Club show, follow us, and the show comes right to your phone. Yep. Very different. And we have to remember this beauty. She's going to be in the what pageant? Miss Full Figured US New York. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. awesome. So please make sure you're following Geneva Jones, a.k.a. Curvy MI, on all social media platforms. That's curvy.am.i. And as always, catch me on the runway. That's right. And it's uh, this show is sponsored by Teddy and Christina from Aura Pure Jewelers in Franklin Square. Great people. They have some Valentine's specials coming up. You got to go see Teddy. He actually uh, just gave me a beautiful gift the other day. A nice little heart pin. And if you need little girls, little mini bracelets, he has beautiful ones. And it's also sponsored by Tranquility Spa. Mm. And Angela, who is wonderful, you can get a spa treatment for 45 minutes for $40. Wow. Nowhere on Long Island can you get that. They're right on Franklin Avenue in Franklin Square. Tell them the Breakfast Club sent you. And also they have a beautiful soft cave. Soft cave. In there, and they opened up another spa in Levittown. Wow. So the Tranquility Spa, we love you. Uh, another one just wrote in, it's phenomenal to see such strong, successful, independent, beautiful, classy women who help people. Yeah. Hats off thank to you, you ladies. Oh, one more thank you. One thank more thing. you. Isn't that nice? Those that are nice, nice things to yeah. say. Thank you so much. I just wanted to mention one more thing was if you guys know of anyone who is in need or needs help, uh, please reach out to our church or our church page or my Instagram, which should I say? My Instagram yes, right now? Yes. Okay, Nicole underscore three, three, seven, three, six or true encounter. Uh, we want to be able to whether if you are in Valley Stream or anywhere in Nassau County, Suffolk County, we want to be helping hands for those who are struggling right now. So, so we know what that would that be in the form of um Food Whether if it's groceries, if it's shopping, shopping, if it's going to your house and cleaning it. I mean, I don't mind doing that. I mean, going to your house and organizing <laughs> it. We don't mind doing that. I got my organizer right over there. My administrative organizing. Skills. Hey, yes. this is great. <laughs> yes. So she she literally helps me organize and with the administrative stuff that i just feel like i can't i can't deal with she she helps me out a lot well that's good to and, know because we have a lot of seniors too yeah and even any help. anything anything if it's to help your grandma if it's to help uh your kids if Jeez, it's to help this is a good connect here now. yeah yeah i'm <laughs> gonna have to make you an associate i'm an member. amazing babysitter <laughs> i'm telling you right now i love kids i have the and it's crazy because i meet a lot of i'm starting to meet a lot of uh women who have big families which is something that i want um and so i'm just even seeing how the lord is working there like that's a dream that you have like i will still give it to you and so that's great. um nice i love girl. children and you know i i love being able to care for them and and stuff like that and so if you guys know of anyone who needs a laptop or 
uh, anything, anything, a ride to work for a month instead of paying for Uber, a gift card, uh, flowers to even to that point last year, we were able to give someone a woman flowers and she cried at the doorstep, you know? Aww. So you never you know guys are what, terrific. what anything. Really? Yeah. And I so, was supposed to meet you. Yeah. We may have one or two people that we can give you that yeah, need some of help. Course, of and course. And it's always nice, um, you know, mm -hmm. to just help people when they're in need. It is. Yeah. It is. So we love doing it too. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely going to get you involved in the prom project. Yes. This is called the prom boutique and you. Of course. And you uh, we'll be sending out information oh. about it soon. And I have your email, and I I don't even need her email. <laughs> I'm yeah. I just now. give I just give her <laughs> orders. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, look at your closets, guys. Look for those shoes, that old fashioned ju jewelry that is not too expensive that you don't wear anymore. Mm. And um, a lot of the old stuff is actually coming back. It really is. As but you can see, these yeah. earrings, I want to pay. I've been Where looking at them. Get the entire, them? Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh. And I like this too. It's very pretty. Um, yeah. yeah. Do you know where you got know. the earrings? I think I brought my earrings when I was out of state, so I don't oh, even remember gorgeous. where. Gorgeous. It was really like a, nice. a road trip, something I shouldn't have been buying, but it was cute and I wanted it. <laughs> very, very nice. That's how very it works nice. with me. I have a bad habit. If I want it, I got it. If I think and I need it, I still want Brad it. Brad Cohen like, is <laughs> watching. Brad Cohen is watching. Every night this week, there's something at Carmela's. Um, if you want to go, and uh, it's a great place. They have DJ, everything, all kinds of fun stuff as one of our sponsors all the time. So wow. a shout out to Carmela's. And uh, I think that we just about covered everything. Yeah. yeah. So great it was a thing. great show. Great women. Great responses to the people calling in. And miss you, Greg. Sorry yeah, not yet, but I miss Greg, you. Sending we you miss love. Him. He'll be back. He'll definitely yeah. be back. Hmm. So on that note, and that's a wrap.